Hey, what's up guys? Still out here in Pennsylvania, last day of the trip, going home tomorrow. I have an evening hunt planned, finally have the bucks figured out. So right now I'm just killing time. So, we're gonna do a camper video. Uh, built this camper back in March. Uh, it's a seven by 14 from the end to here with an extra about two feet. So essentially seven by 16 trailer. That's the tank for the diesel heater. We'll get into that later. Window. Now here's the drop gate. Wanted the drop gate for a couple reasons. Easy access for loading. And two, if I ever want to take the four-wheeler out on a trip, I can do that too. Got some storage here in the bottom. And last but not least on the outside, we have lights for if you're cleaning up an animal or just need lights at camp, it's a good one to have. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, here inside is the living area. The most important part, long day in the woods, you want a good bed. Storage underneath the bed, we have meat cooler, spare water, supplies, small file, small, 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 small couple, a 22 rifle, and more splats. Food cooler flip-up table for the stove, which is currently sitting outside. Flip-up table here for cards or for eating. And we have the counter area. So having everything in a trailer is super compact, but I think this came out really well. So we have sink, the really most important part, coffee, which Sometimes used as, as an actual percolator, but as of lately, I've been using this instant espresso and it actually tastes pretty good and it's a lot easier to make coffee because all you gotta do is heat up water and put that in there. This cabinet, we have a bit of a mess, but everything that you need, bowls, plates, cast iron, lids, Pots, pans, stuffs, all the stuffs. This cabinet here, we have more supplies. Doink. And we have the water system. So it's a standard 12 volt DC water pump, fresh water, gray water running off the sink. And then it's your typical propane tanks for the stove. And then here is where everything kind of comes together. This is the electrical system. Everything runs off of the Jackery, which is currently at 78%. I've been here since Tuesday. Today is Friday and I started at 98%. So that's pretty good. Jackery. The Jackery DC power runs to this cable into the fuse box, which then powers everything in the trailer, including the diesel heater. So the diesel heater, just like outside, there's a fuel tank and everything out there. The pipe comes up into here. This gets nice and roasty toasty. Vents out in here. I ran it once just to test it out. It went from 45 degrees to 70 degrees in about 25, 30 minutes. And with all the objects and walls and everything being just as cold, that's not bad. On that note, I also insulated all the walls and the ceiling just to hold the heat better on the cold days. A couple things about this Jackery is that you can charge it off of 
a receptacle at home. You can charge it solar panels, which is very convenient when you're on the road on a long trip, or you can charge it in your truck. So all you gotta do is hook it to your cigarette charger in your vehicle. You can charge it going down to your campsite. That's perfect. But everything in here runs up to the control panel. This is the USB charger. Get all the ports charged. That's great for your phones. It's great for camera batteries. And a little cigarette outlet in case you want to do a electric mini fridge. Have a light switch for dimmers. Water pump. That's for the outside lights. And then this is currently empty, but that's gonna be for a roof vent I haven't put in yet. Oops. And last but not least, a duck. So you remember when walking out to duck, you know who you are. So that's it for the tramper, which is what I call it. Camper, trailer, tramper. Not referring to the people that are in it, just the tramper itself. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment, message me. I have a mild construction background, but I'm no way an expert and I was able to work my way through it. So if you guys have questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching. So the only thing the tramper doesn't have is good bathroom facilities. But when you're out in nature, 